Everyone, the Game Chief here. As everyone in the Arma scene will more than likely know, now that Arma Reforger has been released, it's a big new game in the Arma franchise and a good way to show off the new engine that they're going to be using in Arma 4. We did have a video already created about creating your own server, and today we're going to go ahead and be adding mods to our server, and in particular we're going to be adding some game modes and also another type of mod as well just to demonstrate adding multiple mods. And let's go and get started. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we need to find out what mods we want to do. So I'm just going to open our game first. And once we open it, we can go through Bohemia's new workshop system, which from my understanding doesn't use a Steam Workshop. And we can kind of see what mods they have and we can find a couple to select and get going for us. And now that we have our game open, we can go and go over to the workshop here. It's going to load a list of all the different um, different items on the workshop and what we're going to be looking at is the capture and hold official mod or add-on from bohemia so that game mode and if we click on here it also will go ahead and show some information of the different scenarios that they do have available or it used to be called missions and other army games but scenarios and then we're also going to grab another one i think what we'll end up doing is the infinite stanima one i'm actually not sure if this properly works but we'll give it a try i'm sure it hopefully does so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and there's going to be some information that we're going to get out of it. And that's going to first require that we go ahead and download it. So we're going to go and hit download. Say yep. And while that's downloading, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other one. So we have infinite Sanima. We're going to do both of those. Those are both going. And if we go back, go to download it, it looks like Stanima went through, but the other one we're still waiting on. Yep, it's still downloading it. And it looks like the download finished. If we go over to download it, we do see both of them there, which is perfect. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to alt tab out of our game. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and remote into our server now. So I am connected and we have this all set up already. If you don't have a working server, you need to have one first. There is a video link in the description below, of course. And we do need to edit our config file, but I'm just going to close out of that so we can get there again. So we'll open File Explorer. Then we're going to go into Documents, My Games, Armor Reforger. This is the default path right now um, that we set up, and we put our config in here. You can put the config elsewhere, but these logs have to go in here, so we put it here anyways. And we have our config.json file, which we want to edit. And I have opened this up in Atom just because we want to have a more advanced editor. Notepad++ would be fine just so we can kind of see what we're doing here. And then we have our mod section. And for ease of use, I did bring up the server hosting wiki page from Bohemia. And we're going to scroll down here and there's an example config. And it kind of just reminds us of how this mod category is supposed to be set up. So you have your mod ID, your name, your version, and this is typical JSON formatting. I'm going to actually just copy this whole thing. That way I don't have to do the spacing and all that. It's totally up to you. Again, this uh, page will be linked in the video description. So we're going to copy all of that. And I'm copying from this close bracket here up to the top here. So that's this entire mod section. And then I'm just going to replace this entire line. So we're not touching any of these brackets down here or up there. And then now we can go ahead and add the mods and they kind of threw some basic ones in there. We won't use those ones, but what we need to know is the mod ID number. And what we can do is we can go back to our computer here, go into your documents folder and then go into your my documents. And then once you're in your documents folder, you should see armor reforger and then add ons. And then it has the couple different add ons here. And to know which one is which, I'm just going to go into the mods. So this is the top one. I'm going to open the thumbnail. And this is the capture and hold one. So we know that now. And then we're going to right click, rename, and we're just going to copy the name of the folder. And then we're going to go back into here. And then, oh, we don't want that extra character in there. And then we're going to paste the mod ID in. That's how it knows which mod. It's going to automatically pull it from the workshop um, based off of that ID. So we need to know that. And then we need to get the name and version. So I'm gonna just make this a little bit smaller and easier to do here. And then we'll pull up the game. And then I'm just going to pull up the capture one first. I'm gonna alt tab so this is open again. And this is just so I can read off here of the right side here of the actual full name. So it's just capture and hold. And then the version is version 
So the initial version. I'm getting that from right here on the bottom and right here. Next, we need to know the other mod name. So what we'll do is we'll go back in here. And this is our second mod. I only have two mods installed, so it's super simple to know. But I can also just go into here. And then I can pull up the image and see, yep, this is our infinite Sanima one. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the name. We'll go ahead and put that in there. And then again, we need to do the same thing. So we'll go here, click on this, and then we'll update the name to match. And we want the version number to match as well. So it's version 1.0.3. And then we should be good to go here. We can full screen this. And if you want to add another mod, you would want to add a comma here. Um, that way you can add another one. And then you could just paste this, throw another one in there. But the important thing to note is the last one cannot have a comma or else it will be valid. So we would do that so it matches. And then a super cool trick of what you can do here is we have everything we want in here. So I'm going to save the file and then we're just going to go to a website and we're just going to look up JSON verifier. This will be linked in the description as well. You can paste the entire file in there and then hit validate and it's going to make sure there's no errors. If there's an error, for example, that there, it's going to give you an error and you know there's a problem. So that way you can verify your config file is valid. And now that we got that in, again, we could add more or less, but we're just going to go with these basic ones. And then it's unknown if these are going to auto update with Bohemia's new workshop system, along with um, using this mod ID from there, or if it's going to stay on the version you specify here. So just keep that in mind. You may need to update the version number to the latest one, and that way you have the latest one whenever the mods update. And then before we start our server and verify everything is working properly, we do need to update our scenario because right now this is still going to use that other mission that we have set up. We want to do the new capture and hold scenario. So what we can do is we can go ahead and just, so what we can do is go ahead and just check what the scenario name is supposed to be. And I will recommend just creating a new bat file if you don't have this already. And I'm going to just call it um, maps, even though it's technically scenarios dot bat. And we did this in the other video of showing how to display all the scenarios, but again, and then if we go up to the startup parameters wiki page, we can look here. And there is this example here that lists the scenarios. So we're going to copy that, paste this in here, and then I'm going to add a pause at the end here. So that way it doesn't close on us in case it crashes. And we'll let this run. And this is going to try to launch the server, but it won't point to the config. But we're mainly wanting to see is, yep, right here. We want to go ahead and see the scenarios. And I'm going to edit and mark there. And I just want to select one. We're going to do the castle one. So these scenarios are all from the same one. So I'm just going to copy this full thing. We're going to paste it in there, make sure there's no extra spaces or anything like that. And we're going to go ahead and save that. And I can close out of this. We don't need that anymore. And we can go ahead and actually start it and make sure everything's working and the mode has switched over. And as we can see here, it did load everything on that default port. So let's go ahead and check on that. So we're back in our game now. I've, you know, minimized out of our remote connection. I'm going to go back to the main page, go to multiplayer. And then I'm going to go ahead and search for our server. And then if we look here, we do see it here. It shows it does have those add-ons. So it shows two different add-ons here. So that's good. That's both of them that we did. And it is on the correct scenario now. So the correct uh, game mode and map. So that all looks good. And let's go ahead and join and make sure that works. And now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and select a faction. So we select US. And then we can go ahead and hit confirm. And then, oh yeah, let's just choose a loadout as well. Um, just grab that. And there's a couple of different spawn points. We'll just pick the first one. And then we are in. And since we obviously know the game mode is working, I'm just going to go ahead and go for a little run here and see if we stop running and see if that unlimited stamina is working, which it looks like it is.
And that's really about it. It's actually super simple to get installed, a lot easier compared to other Bohemia games like Arma 3 or DayZ. And it's a pretty simple process. Hopefully it stays that way. We'll see exactly how updating works, but we'll have to give it some more time to see if it works the way we expect it to. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. As always, Discord's also linked down there as well. And that's about it. Have a good one.